Hi there, my name is Eric and I play bass and today we are checking out two very fine pedals from Kasleder, 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 sorry for the mispronunciation, um, forgive me, I'm Swedish, um, two very cool handmade peng pedals, <laughs> penguins, two very cool handmade pedals from Hungary. Um, so, before we get started with this video, full disclaimer, as is custom here on YouTube, um, Cast Leather were kind enough to send me these two fine pedals to demo and feature in a video. However, I'm not getting uh, monetarily compensated to say anything nice about them. Uh, they asked me to do a video and perhaps include them in rigs and, you know, all of that good stuff. So, there is that, just for full transparency. Let's get to uh, the good stuff that you're here for, because I know you're here for the good stuff, which is bass. Bass. In this video, I'm running my Fender Precision Bass from 1963 with rotor sound, round wound strings, into the Darkless Hyperluminal Compressor, which is currently bypassed, uh, into the Albatross, into the Jellyfish, and then we got the Darkless Element right here, uh, which is currently bypassed. There is no uh, cabinet simulation going. I'm playing only uh, using the precision pickup. We got a jazz pickup here uh, by the bridge as well. And we're not gonna use that. We're just gonna use uh, the precision pickup for now. So here's what my bass sounds like. Straight into logic. No pulse processing, kids. There is this just, you know, it's just bass. I'm not doing anything in post-production magic wonderland with this tone other than you know the compression that youtube applies so uh, here is what the bass sounds like <laughs> bass so we're gonna start off with the jellyfish which is the preamp pedal of these two. So we got everything set for pretty much 12 o'clock here, uh, except for the dry knob. We got output volume, we got bass, we got treble, and we got the gain. So kicking it on. With this setting, it's pretty transparent, I must say. Maybe a wee bit of boost to the signal, but not much. So... What's cool about this pedal is that we got tons of headroom or tons of uh, output available. Quite a bit there. So, there we have the output knob. Um, gonna set everything for 12 o'clock, which is the, you know, old man standard. So, 12 o'clock. And there you can hear the sweet distortion. Kicking in. Nice. So... Bring it down there. Gonna dial back the gain a bit and just go for the two uh, EQ controls here. Um, so these are are pretty cool when you're when you're setting them for you know when they are set for the noon or twelve o'clock. Uh, they are pretty much flat and then you got a pretty uh, musical cut and boost, if you will. So we're gonna start off with the 
the bass control. So 12 o'clock. A lot of bass. So going for the treble now. nice I must say so let's uh, play a bit with the drive knob now so what's cool about this drive knob is that once you get past a certain point as you can hear like around here It just feels like it's, you know, kicking into overdrive, if you will, but... When you get past 12 o'clock... You get a clean blend! Which is nice, so let's play with the bit with the treble as well. And maybe it's my old ears, but I don't find the treble knob uh, to be too, um, you know, harsh, if you will. It's not like an ice pick to the eardrum, it's actually pretty, pretty nice. And there's no cab simulation going on right now. So that's neat. So yeah, that's the jellyfish, <laughs> in a nutshell. Pretty cool preamp, I must say. Really like this, you know, once you get past 12 o'clock, that you still get the clean blend. 
and I mean you can still hear the clean transient but you get that nice bite to the distortion so that's really cool let's set it for something like like so because we're now gonna fly away with the albatross so the albatross is a fuzz pedal uh, with an output control you've got a blend control and you've got the fuzz control so what's neat about this blend control is that it doesn't go between a completely clean tone and the over-the-top fuzz tone. You're actually going uh, f from a... Uh, let's check the manual, what it says. I've actually got the manual ready today because uh, I don't want to repeat my mistakes. Um, it says, blend. Don't look here for pristine cleans. To the far left you have the GFET preamp simulation of a breaking up tube amp that blends into the fuzz circuit when turning it to the right. In the middle you have the studio secret weapon of bass dirt sound. So that's what we got here. So everything is set for 12 o'clock on the Albatross now and uh, let's fly away. So here's my tone without the Albatross. And there's my tone with the albatross. I want more fuss. Cool. So. Let's. So, let's see if we can. Hear it. So here is uh, my tone with the blend set all the way to the left. Uh, Albatross engaged. Yeah, there's a bit of break up there. That's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> or actually, actually, he, he actually plays. Uh, anyways, so that's the albatross. Now let's make a rig out of this. So I'm gonna engage the hyperluminal now. Uh, so now we got some compression as well. Just for full transparency, here is without the hyperluminal and everything's off. Engaging the hyperluminal. 
engaging the jellyfish. And let's engage the element as well. So there we go. That's a nice round bass tone. I'm going to turn it down actually.
that's usually a good sign when I get lost in a pedal or a setup. These two pedals from Castleder sound very musical, um, I have to say. I, I really dig the way that they react to my playing. Um, and in a rig like this, which is, you know, compressor, fuzz, preamp, cab sim, that's all that's going on. I'm not doing anything in post-production with this uh, tone. What you're seeing essentially is what you're getting. The jellyfish is a very, it's a very musical preamp. And I really like this how the drive knob uh, changes when you go past 12 o'clock. There's a lot of, like I said, there's a lot of output to uh, get from this pedal, so be careful with the output knob here. Um, I kind of like the, the drive knob around, you know, pretty much 11 o'clock or something. Sounds like, a, you know, something that's breaking up. But it's not going, you know, over the top with the... Distortion, in any way. Um, kicking the fuzz on. In theory, you could always do like this, you know, keep the blend all the way to the left, and just have it as a uh, pretty much, you know, gain staging, a, a second, you know, second gain stage, so to speak. So you can go from, you know, you know, especially if you play with the output knob here means that it's gonna hit the jellyfish harder but yeah So yeah, there you have it, pretty much. Two very musical pedals, the Jellyfish and the Albatross, both from Hungary, both made, handmade in Hungary, uh, which is very cool. You get pretty beautiful manuals for these uh, two pedals. Uh, the Jellyfish one is a bit more extensive than the Albatross. It's, it has, you know, you get a few uh, tone suggestions, um, Tone suggestions, that was a hard word to say. Uh, you get two very nice, uh, you know, boxes for them, and you get them in, in a, a nice little um, um, uh, uh, bag, if you will. I mean, uh, these two pedals are just a nice boutique experience. So if you're in the market for a very musical fuzz pedal or a really cool preamp pedal, um, and I mean, they are beautiful. They are really nice, <laughs> nicely, you know, uh, crafted and uh, put together. The knobs are sturdy. The casing is beautiful. I mean, what's not to love? And they're handmade. So if you're in the market for a new fuss or a new preamp, go check these guys out. Like I said, I'm not getting paid to say anything nice about these two pedals. Of course, they did send me them, but... I really like them. They are very musical. I, you know, especially stacking them is a really cool way to get some really neat and uh, nasty and meaty tones, I must say. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. 
and uh, make sure to leave a comment if you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below as well. My name is Eric and I play bass and I'll see you guys and gals and cats and dogs in the next video. Until next time, take care. Bye.